<laughs> okay, a few things for you to think about for this concerto number two in G major opus 13, third movement. Wow, that's a short name. Okay, so you're going to play, the first thing to think about here is um, what you're doing with your bow at the very beginning, okay? So that's the, that's not me growling. It's not my stomach growling. That's the dog. He likes the, the kids running outside. He's, he's excited about that. Okay, here we go. So we're going to play a full bow because this is a concerto. You are the soloist. And so you have to play as one. So you're going to shoot off. Barnabas, stop. No. Jump off. And then you're going to reset the bow, jump again, like that. Okay? So jump, reset, then play, jump down. Same thing. Full bow, jump off, reset. Short. Okay? Same thing here. Jump, full bow, reset, short. Come off. Short. Okay, going on. Jump. And then up, up. Okay, so that's that's the main bowing step. Go back and listen to that barks and all, and you will uh, you'll be able to get that down. Now this next part, bar nineteen. Don't bark. There you go. There you go. Barnabas, you want to come say hi? Say hi, because everyone's been hearing you bark. So come here. You can say hi. Hello. I've been barking. Sorry. Okay. So now, uh, this is 19. So first practice this with just the moving, what we call the moving line. So get rid of all the open A's. So practice that first, and then add your open A's. Notice I'm playing it sort of in the, the lower half here, right? And then jump. So you'll notice that it's kind of this weird thing where they do the slur, and then there's a bigger slur that has the staccato. That means it's all in an up bow but you play these connected and then stop and then jump. I like to use an open ear. Open A. Okay, and then the piano will go bum ba dee da dum bum ba da dum. Now it's solo. You're gonna play this three times. So we're gonna play it all the same way. Nay, nay. We play the first one nice and big. A little smaller and even smaller still. And then the piano goes boom, boom, really low. Okay, so the reason we do this is because we never want something to be the same. It just doesn't sound, doesn't sound nice. It's not, uh, not fun. Uh, so it's kind of, think about this as like a bouncing ball. If you bounced a basketball, for instance, it's gonna bounce bigger, smaller, smaller, like that, okay? So smaller and then really small. And then the piano goes boom, boom. And then remember, jump, reset, jump, jump, short, bum, bum, that's the piano. Same thing, same. Now, let's move on to the slow section. This part, it's in, well, all of this, the whole entire piece is in 6-8, which means there are how many beats in the measure? Correct, six! And what note gets the beat? Ah, oh, you knew it again, the eighth note. Okay, so we're gonna count. The piano goes one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's where we come in. So you see this at 37, 38, 39, there are eight bars of rest. There's a big eight and this long bar. So there's eight bars of rest. After that, 
then you see the eighth notes, the little small eighth notes, that's the piano. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then they do the same thing again in your little rest there. One, two, three, four, and then you come in. Five, six, okay? So we're gonna start right there. And I'm gonna count through this whole thing. You can slow this down. Really slow. And go through it like that, okay? One, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Hello? Okay, let's try that again. No bark, no bark, don't bark. Five, six, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six. Stop barking. I'm going to take him out. He's just too excited about the kids. Okay, let's try this again. Five, six, one, two, three, four, 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 five. Six. I love this part. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, because we're on a tie there. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six. One, two, jump. Three, four, five, jump. Okay, and then we go on to the next one. I'll talk about that in a second. Okay, and then it just repeats. The next two lines just repeat. Okay, so this is one, two, and three, and four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. One, and two, and three, four, and five, and six. One, and two, and three, and four, five, six. Now this next part, you're gonna play your F sharp and put your one right next to it like this. So play an F sharp, play the one right next to it. That's an E sharp. Okay, so F sharp, D, E sharp. And then, Now let's go on to 84. Okay, going on to 84. This is the brillante section. <coughs> So I would practice this first as singles. Here, you see it says to keep your three down. Then you do an X4, which is an extension four. So keep the three down and reach for the four. Practice this. Just to get comfortable with that spacing, this helps your muscle memory. 
Okay, let's go on. After that, you practice with doubles. The most important thing with the doubles is to play from your elbow, okay? Do not play from your arm, your shoulder, like this. This will get you extremely tired. Play from your elbow. And try to keep your hand as relaxed as you can. Almost like this is like rubbery, right? And as your arm moves from the elbow, the ant hand just continues to kind of relax and flop. Like if you were doing a towel, you know, you were shaking it, the end of the towel flops around. You want your hand to do that too. when you get good at that it should be like that so there you can see I'm now using the tools I learned practicing it slowly singles then doubles nice and slow so that I can make music right so we're following the contour Now this last part, these chords, this is down, up, and then you have to retake and do an up, down, bottom two, top two, bottom two, top two. Notice I had my finger already ready. And then up, bottom two, top two, my finger's already ready. Okay, goes like that, down, up, up, on that last one otherwise it sounds pretty austere okay and then you already know about this part right and then we get to the 103 piumoso which means basically goes fast as possible no it means a little bit faster we want more energy okay so um this is how it will sound when you get it good practice it right what's the first thing singles and then doubles from the elbow with your floppy wrist but you do want your thumb to be strong so you get that sticky you hear that and then the last part bottom two top two G, bottom two, top two. And then the last note, this is kind of a fun little thing. You put your three on the G, like that, and you just play open G while doing vibrato. It's called sympathetic vibration. So if I just play it without the vibrato, we don't hear any vibrating, but then, cool right okay so have fun with that enjoy find a good recording and um and have fun with this piece <laughs>